Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to integrate your Etsy shop into your Divi website. So let's dive in and let me show you how to do it. Okay, so in order for us to integrate our shop, what we need to do is to download the Etsy shop plugin. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come over here to our website. We're going to come to plugins, click on add new. And then we're just going to search for Etsy shop. Okay, so it's this first one that you need to install. Now, as you can see, I've already installed mine and it's already active. So the next thing you want to do is to come over here to settings, click on Etsy shop. And then what you want to do here is if you if it's your first time to install this app, you need to create an API key. So by clicking this link here, it takes you to the page where you can go through the stages of uh, setting up the, the uh, API key. So what you want to do here is to enter your application name, your description for your application, the website. Okay, here you need to uh, select seller tools. And then is your application commercial? You just need to uh, click on no. Over here, just make sure you select the general public. And then here, it's very important because I missed this a few times. You need to make sure that you uh, select this. And then you need to click on I'm not a robot. And then read and create app. So once you've done that, you will get a success message, which looks like this. And this is where now you can get to copy your API key, which is right here. And then you want to come here back to our website and paste it right here. Now, after you've pasted your API key, click on save changes. In fact, before you click on save changes, you need to make sure that link to new window is selected. Okay. And then we're going to click on save changes. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to come over here to pages, click on all pages, and we are going to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here, click on add new, and I'm just going to call this page shop. Click on use the div builder, and I'm going to go into the visual builder. Okay, so what you want to do here is to add your columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a single column, and this is going to be a text module like that. I'm going to select it. So for now, I'm not going to add anything. I'm just going to set up my row settings. So I'm going to come over here into the row settings, click on design, sizing, and then we're going to add a, add a custom width. 680 or 700 is good. So I'm just going to enter a 680. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and save. Next, we're going to come over here to our module settings, and I'm going to paste this short code. So what you want to do with this short code is you want to replace where it says your Etsy shop with your shop and also section ID with your shop section ID. So for now, I'm just going to go in and save changes. Okay, so what you want to do is to choose a shop. Now, I don't have an Etsy shop, so what I'm going to do here is to choose a random one in the um, Etsy ecosystem. So what I have here is two areas which are very, very important. So first of all, we have this ID equal. So this is the ID that we need to come and add here in our short code. Okay. And then we also need to add the ID for the uh, name of the shop. So can, if I come back over here, we can see that home and living is the shop. So that's what we need to add over here. So once we've added this in the, in the uh, quotation marks, then we can just save and our shop will show. And when the shop displays, it will display all the items in that particular shop. But as I mentioned before, I don't have a shop, so you would need to add your ID and your name of the shop, and that will just work fine. And also one very important thing before we finalize this tutorial, this plugin is not mobile friendly, so what you may want to do is to disable the phone and tablet because it doesn't show very well on there. Now, there's a there's another plugin that you could use, but this is a paid one. It's called Etsy 360, and uh, I'll just show you the link. Okay, so here's the plugin. Now, this one is responsive, and this will do a very good job, and the price for this is $45. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos similar to what you've seen today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments box below and I'll do my best to answer those. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.